Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to add lipstick on the lips and also how to change the color of the lipstick so your pictures will look more nice. Welcome to this photo editing tutorial brought to you by Dirty Studio. So I'm going to be showing you two ways that you can change the lips in Photoshop. I'll be using the gradient and map and I'll be using the hue and saturation. Now to do this, you have to just zoom in your picture. Once you are zooming your picture, you can use your pen tool and you can use your quick selection tool to make it look more faster as in if you don't have time and you want your work to be faster, you can use your quick selection tool to just select around the lips or you can just remove it and select your pen tool and you start to use your pen tool to draw around these lips. But this time I'm not going to be using my pen tool because of time. So I'll just click on the quick selection tool and make sure this quick selection tool is selected, this one at the center. And now we will just select around the lips. And once we are done selecting around the lips, you have to go to your create new adjustment layer and select gradient and map. And once you are done, you will see that the lips color has already changed. It's different, but it's not looking nice. So we want to do some kind of editing now on the picture. So you go to your gradient and map. You just have to click on this other section here. Once you click on it, this, our properties will open. And once the properties is open, you just have to left click on this place here. Once you left click on this place, you will see gradient editor will open. Now you have to scroll up to the basic. Now my own Photoshop might be different from your own, but in my own, I'm seeing basic blues, purples, and the rest. So I'll just open this basic. Once I open this basic, you will see some kind of colors here. Now I'll be selecting this color here, this black and white name once you select this black and white name you will see that let me just drag this thing here you will see that the lips color has already changed the lips color has already changed because photoshop has already selected another color instead of our own color so what you are going to do now is that you are just going to go to this place here this rectangle here and move your mouse here and just click on anywhere and once you click on the place you will see color just go to this color and click on it, left click. Once you left click, let's drag this place here. And I'm just going to select any color I like. You can see green, green looks nice. You can see pink, purple or pink looks nice. You can even see red, dark red. And we can also choose orange and we can choose lighter blue. So I think I'm just going to use green this time. Let's drag it up here. And once I'm done, I'm just going to click OK. And once I'm done clicking OK, now we want to do some kind of editing on our image. We want to drag this place down here. And as you can see the results, if you drag it like this, it will become more lighter. If you drag it like this, it will become more darker. And I think this one looks more nice. But let me just leave the location to be around 50. I think the location to be around 50 is more good. And once I'm done, I'm just going to click OK and you can see the result has changed but the lips is not looking nice it's looking more scattered so what you are going to do here now is that you are going to select your brush once you have selected your brush you just zoom in the picture and click on your layer marks once you select the brush you have to reduce the size of the brush and once you are done reducing the size of the brush now we want to remove this our filter from the lips from the side of the lips to do this you have to make sure that your foreground color this is your foreground and the background color you have to make sure that this square above is black and this one below is white the one on top must be black and the one below must be white or you can press x on your keyboard to change it and once the one above is black and the one below is white you have to select your brush and come to these areas to start removing it from these edges of the lips and if you are removing it and you have done another mistake you can press x again on your keyboard and this foreground color will become white then you can apply those effects on the skin just be pressing x to apply and x to remove and i'm just going to be doing it on these areas so i'm just going to come here to remove it and let's look at what we are doing this is the before and this is the after but it still doesn't look more nice than we want it to look like 
You can also reduce the flow of your brush. Once we reduce the flow of your brush, we want to use it to do these edges because these edges look more sharper. We want to just adjust it. We want to adjust it so it will not look more fake. We want it to look more real instead of fake. So I'll just come here too to adjust it. Let's look at the before and the after. This is the before and this is the after. And you can also do one thing again. You can also reduce the opacity. Once you reduce the opacity, you will see it will look more real. Since we are done with this gradient and map method of changing the lipstick color in Photoshop, we are going to go to this next method. This next easiest method is one of the most simplest method that most people know how to do. So we are going to turn off this gradient and map layer. And once you have turned off the layer, we will just click on this background copy layer that is below and now let's zoom in our picture to only the lips what you are going to do now is that you are going to use your quick selection tool again once you use your quick selection tool we want to select around these lips let's just select around the lips and once we are done you can also do some kind of changes here and let's just remove it from this area so once you are done selecting around the lips you have to just go to your create new adjustment layer and let's say let this use saturation and once you are done selecting the use saturation you have to go to this area here and left click so once you have left click on it the properties is going to open and once the properties open let's then go to this our u and once you go to this area you can change the color of the lips and as you can see the color is changing this is one of the most easiest method and one of the most simplest method you can use to change the color of the lips i think purple look more nice and let's look at the results the purple is looking more nice you can also reduce it like this let's leave it to this kind of color and once you are done we want to just close this our properties and as you can see the result is looking more nice but we are not done we want to add back our shining effects on the lips and as you can see this our shining effect is not showing on the lips. It's not looking more nice. We want to make those our shining effect to be showing again. So to do this, you have to just go to this area here and you have to click on your create new layer. And once you create new layer, we are going to go to this place and use our, our brush. And once you click on the brush, you have to make sure that the color of the brush is white. And once you are done, you just increase your flow and then you have to paint around the lips so once you are done painting around the lips what you are going to do is that you are going to move to this use saturation layer once you click on this use saturation layer max hold alt on your keyboard once you hold alt on your keyboard you left click and drag place it on this our layer that we created before once you place it on top it's going to only select the lips instead of the whole body is going to just select only the lips so let me just come here and add more white to the lips and once i'm done i'm just going to left click on this our layer here this our layer one i'll just left click on it and do it twice you have to left click twice so i'll just double click on it and let's double click on it and this our layer style is going to open and once the layer style open we want to do some kind of changes on this place so you can come here this underlining layer and you can drag it like this and as you can see the result is changing you can also hold alt on your keyboard and click on it and drag you can also come here to drag it like this and so i'll just come here to drag it like this so i'm just going to click ok now let's look at the before and the after this is the before and the after of the shining effect that we did on the lips this is the before and the after so if you want to remove it from some parts of the lips you have to click on your layer max once you click on the layer max select your brush and press x on your keyboard so this place will turn to black and the one below will turn to white and let's just remove it from these places what you are going to do here now is that you are going to click on this layer one layer once you click on it you hold control on your keyboard hold control and click on this your use saturation layer now you press Ctrl or Command G on your keyboard and it's going to group these our two layers together or you just right click on it and select group from layers and you can rename this group from layers to lips change and once I'm done renaming it to lips change I'm just going to click OK and now let's look at the before 
and this is the after. This is the before and the after of the process of the U and saturation that we did, the U saturation that we did. And now you can also turn up this our second method that we did. And let's look at the gradient and map method that we did. This is the before and this is the after. And you can see my own editing is not very perfect, but once you, you are editing your own picture, you will notice that it will look more perfect. And we are done with this tutorial. Thank you for watching. If this video was very helpful to you, subscribe for more videos, turn on notifications so YouTube will notify you when I upload a new video and leave a like to help the channel out.